Hi then, what's going on everybody? <coughs> Welcome to my new video. Don't nod at me then. <laughs> Great way to start the video off. So today on this lovely beautiful morning, it's not exactly the sunny, but it's not exactly cold either. It's quite nice actually, it's quite nice uh, sort of temperature. I'm quite, quite enjoying that. I'm uh, on my way to James the Biker's meet down in Bristol. Just hit a road called Gaydon. <laughs> That's always funny to see. I'm currently one hour and 46 minutes away. I've been on the road for about about three quarters of an hour so far. Not too bad, it's about a two and a half hour ride. It's taking me all the back ways because the motorway has got a 55 minute congestion. So I decided to skip the motorway and take back roads, which doesn't really bother me anyway because more twisties anyway. So yes, I'm hoping that today is going to be a pretty good day. Whether, no matter the, well, no matter what the turnout is, you know, whether there's five of us or ten of us, you know, it's still nice to meet new people. I've whipped out the old tank bag from the old, from the old Lex Moto. Got the center chatting away in my bloody ear. You guys would uh, remember this bag from the old Lex Moto and all the, all the side all split open. I had to do a little bodge job last night of sewing it up getting everything in there you know it's all good and dandy whether it's still waterproof I don't know but we'll soon find out hopefully none of my stuff gets wet I brought like three rechargeable packs on my phone because I've been on the like I said I've been on the road for about three quarters of an hour and I've lost oh god it's gone up now two hours and three minutes now massive congestion great so we've just gone from an hour and 45 minutes away now to a two hour and three minutes. So instead of getting there at quarter two, I'm going to be getting there at five two now. I can soon change that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I've literally been on the road for about three quarters of an hour and I've lost 20, nearly 25% of my battery already. That's how terrible it is to have the sat nav on in your phone. So I've got like three, two or three portable chargers on me. <laughs> I'll have to pull over soon and connect the first one up to make sure that my phone don't die. Obviously, I can't, at this current point with all these bloody delays, I can't really afford. Saves eight minutes. Yeah, fuck it, Gordon. Yay, back to one hour and 48 minutes now. It's just found a faster route. Which means that I'm going to be changing roads again soon. All about getting there on time. I was originally meant to be getting there for like half 11. And it's slowly building the time up and up and up and up and up for me to get later and later and later. Three hour journey is turning into a four and a half hour journey somehow. <laughs> Bloody ridiculous. But, uh... I'll turn the camera back on when I'm a little bit closer, guys. So, stay tuned. Well, uh, it turns out that the motorway is actually a little bit more busy than what I thought it was going to be. So, that kind of sucks. Uh, oh, I had a flatty then, because my bike is shaking like a son of a bitch. Whoa, that's weird. I physically cannot get out of this fucking lane because there's so many goddamn cars. I literally, I had to do a naughty speed limit in order to get onto the bloody motorway. It's ridiculous. Now how long am I on here for? I'm on here for seven miles, so I best get comfortable and uh, get some lanes going. I don't know. It's bloody eventful, this. Motorways are always fun and games, but... I'm going to speed myself up and get my delays a little bit slower, so I'll see you guys in a moment. Right then, little update guys, I've now been stuck in traffic for like two and a half hours. So much filtering has happened on the motorway, but you know when you're travelling for an absolute long time, I had to pull over because I had to get my phone on charge, because it's like down to 40%. It says I've got 32 minutes left, which I should be arriving about 3 minutes to 12. But I can't find anywhere to pull over for a pee. Oh my god, my stomach is killing me. All these cars. 
cars that I'm currently overtaking now I've already previously overtook. Then I had to pull over, get my phone on charge. I was like, yeah, do I do I take a slash in the bush? I was like, oh, so many cars as I knew. So I'm currently putting up with my bowels kicking me in the fucking stomach. It says I've got 30 minutes, so... I'm sure I can hold in 30 minutes, but anybody that rides a bike will know 30 minutes of riding on the bike with all this vibration is goddamn hell. They're not far off now, so yeah, it's all good fun. I have to, I have to keep bloody switching up because there's been so many motorway congestions. So I've had to go on the motorway, come off the motorway, go on the motorway, come off the motorway. I think I'm about to go back on the motorway. I think I'm literally about to go back on the motorway in a minute. I'm not too sure, because it keeps taking me off. No, I'm not, that's all right. Keeps putting me on the motorway, and then taking me off of it. Gloucester Road. Ooh. Yeah, it keeps taking me on the motorway, and then it's like, oh, faster route. At one point I was on the motorway, this was like 10 minutes ago. The congestion was that bad, it was it was still saying, it was still saying it was going to take me like an hour and 45 minutes, which if it had it took me that long, you would have been looking at a trip that was supposed to take 2 hours and 45 minutes to take 5 hours and 20 minutes. Because <laughs> the motorway congestion and crap. So then I, it was like, oh yeah, quicker route. I'm like, oh, okay, click on that. It said, take this quicker route to say 45 minutes. I was like, oh damn, yes, definitely taking that one. And now I've took another route and now it's saying 5 past 12. Oh, great, because all this bloody congestion and more. There's been so many Sunday drivers today and it's bloody Saturday. It's actually unreal. All the kids on the bloody summer holiday crap. James, you've arranged this at the wrong time. God damn it. So yeah. Alright guys, uh, we'll have a bit more of an update when I get there. Catch you in a bit.
And that's been the end of James the Biker's Me. I uh, think it turned out pretty well actually. There was only four of us, but not bad for a first turn out. Uh, we had a pretty good day actually. I'm not even going to deny it. You know, we met up at Asda. I was a little bit late. We had a little chat before we went off. And then, um, oh god, we had our little chat before we went. And we went down to Western Supermare, with some chips and fish cake, me and James did. And then uh, we had a nice little ride back to Asda. We probably stayed there for about a, a good, probably 50 minutes to an hour, easy. Just having a chat, you know, messing around with the bikes, revving them, and <laughs> burnouts. <laughs> You know, the things that you do at a bike meet. Just, you know, it was a really nice chilled out day. And for the first meet that I've actually gone to, said that I was going to go to quite a few meets and never actually turned up. And I actually, tell, I was really glad that I turned up to this one. It was, you know, it was supposed to be about a two hour trek to get here, which turned into about three and a half hours. But not a big deal, you know, it was, it was well and truly worth it, I must admit. I would definitely be doing it again, you know, hopefully there'll be a little mini-meet that we were discussing every now and again before, because James wants to do a meet every year now, which I think will be pretty good, because, you know, the more the more we all grow, the more people that we can get there, obviously when it gets to a certain point, I suppose we won't be able to do the ride, but, you know, every now and again there'll be mini-meets that we can do and, and things like that, you know. I probably covered the best part of... 90 miles today and I've got to do a 110 mile ride back so you know it's not been bad all in all definitely worth it and like I said I'll definitely do it again you know we had some really good clips like I say you know everybody that was there well four well three of them well you know I'll put a link to everybody's channel in the description because I know some some of them I didn't realize only had like 60 60 odd subs 80 odd subs so I was like oh Okay, so obviously, you know, hopefully you guys will go over there and show them some support. You know, James is going to do the same and hopefully, you know, we'll all get a little bit higher within the community, you know. Come on, mate, come on. I'm not going on. And then, uh, you know, the more the merrier at the meets will be great. And, you know, I gathered a lot of footage. I probably gained about three hours worth of footage. So there is a lot of footage that I'm going to have to go through by the time you've seen this. And, uh, yeah, all I can say is tops to you, James. It was a really good day. It was a pleasure meeting everybody there. And, you know, I would definitely be doing it again. So, you know, cheers for an absolutely awesome day. And uh, hopefully see you again. Catch you all in a bit.